Here's today's In Touch Reflection on Unique But United. This month's reflection is based on verses 14 through 21 of Romans chapter 12. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not be haughty in mind, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Never repay evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all people. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all people. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. To continue the theme of last Sunday's devotion, imagine if all people were alike. We would read the same books, listen to the same music, and eat the same foods. We'd have the same opinions and think the same thoughts. We'd also have the same limitations. How unbelievably dull and dangerous that would be. Thankfully, those of us who are believers are called to unity, not uniformity. Unity is the state of being united into one. Uniformity, on the other hand, means overall sameness. In other words, unity allows for the possibility of iron sharpening iron, as we see in Proverbs 27, 17, while uniformity gives only the illusion of harmony and safety. That's why Jesus prayed His disciples would experience the Trinity's unity, saying in the 17th chapter of John, the glory which you have given me, I also have given to them, so that they may be one, just as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be perfected in unity. This means we can enjoy our differences and the oneness of being found in Jesus. What a blessing! Think about it. Do you tend toward uniformity or unity? How can you move closer to unity? Unity. 